Hey, Timmy's. It's Psychic Bob. Well, look where I am. I'm at the beach. Yay. I thought we'd take a stroll around and see what there is to see. Here we are standing on the big pier. It's so beautiful here. The water looks like it's coming in high tide. So we'll just roll on along. This is a little gazebo that I always love to come sit in. It's so beautiful here. It's got a nice roof. This is great when it storms. You just come out here and get out of the rain. I'm loving it. I'm having the best time. That water's coming in. Look at that water coming in. It's beautiful today. You know, whenever I come to the beach, I get renewed. Renewed in my body, in my mind, in my spirit. I'm so glad you guys are here. I tell you, Tubies, our sun lord is high in the sky, bright and shiny, and it's looking great. We're having so much fun today. The water's really choppy. This wind is going, and I think the tide's coming in, but that's all right. I'm enjoying it. We're going to take a stroll down the pier here and see what there is to see. got their boats out. It's a fun day at the beach. You might look. This wonderful man and his wife have come. They brought their boat and they're out having a great day. Yeah, you guys having fun? From Yay! You got a great day to be out. Well this is great. Are you guys doing crabbing or fishing or just cruises? All right well good luck today. Isn't that nice? I tell you guys we got all sort of wonderful people down here. Colonial Beach is the place to be. And when you're down here, you can visit Psychibot. Tubies, I'm here. I'm having a great time. I have met a local, very prominent person. He is a major painter. He's been involved in historical renovations here on a historical hotel. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell you about his work. Yeah. Would you like to say hi to the YouTubers? Yeah. Hi, hi. How are you all doing today? All right. It's a good day for visiting. And your name is Gus, is that yes, correct? Yes, Gus. So that's is Gus. That's awesome. So tell us about and your painting. I'm paint a local work. painter and I've been painting here for about 30 years and I do pretty good work, I think. That is awesome. Well, I tell you, I've seen I've seen your hotel yeah. and it looks yeah, amazing. The bear house. I also painted the bear house, the Alexander the Bell. Oh, that ha yeah, that's, that's a, a famous nice historical house, house too it's down here. Oh, it's for sale now. Oh, is it for sale? Wow, that's awesome. Yep. Well, I am so honored to meet you. We're going to go up here a little later. I'm going to show the YouTubers some of the work All you've right. done. So thank this you. has been so nice to meet you, and uh, thanks for being day. with us. You guys, Everybody too. You got, this is your boat back here. <laughs> this is Patty. Hi. Hi, Patty. <laughs> you guys look great together. Well, thank I you. Tell you, thank you. you got your boat out. You're ready thank for you. a fun day. Yes, we are. Oh, well, this is Everybody great. come to Colonial Beach. Yeah. Colonial Beach is hey, the place to be seen. The bike week. Oh bike yeah, fest too. that's come right. Bike fest. fest is, and that's coming. I saw a poster for that. Yes. So. Yay. Yay. Well, guys, well, thanks so very much for being oh, no with problem. us. I hope you get some good weather for your boat today. Yeah. It's a little choppy. I and agree. I hope we get some fish. <laughs> catch a few fish. <laughs> and a few fish. There you go. Isn't that great? They're so nice. That was so much fun. They are such nice people. Talking about the water is so choppy today, it might not be safe for them to go out boating. It's a little, little chancy. So we'll see. Hopefully, it'll calm down. We're gonna walk down here and see what there is to see. So come on along. Here we are at the pier. I'm telling you, it's beautiful today. This is a great day to be out and about. We're all fishing. Everybody's having a great time. Well, I tell you, it's a happening day down here. Everybody's out and about, and we're just having such a good time. Here are my friends. They got their boat out. They're just getting ready to go. We'll see if they got any fish, you know. Everybody's trying to catch fish and crabs and stuff, so maybe they had some luck. Any fish, guys? Did you get any fish yet? No fish? <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I tell you, we have the best time down here at Colonial Beach. It's the scene.
here we are. We're walking along the, the boardwalk here at Colonial Beach. Everybody's out and about. A lot of people down here today. But it's a lot of fun. We can go down here and see what's going on. Maybe some shops are open or something. You know, it's always an adventure when we come down here, isn't it? Well, I found a little bit of an isolated area here. Today there are a lot of tourists, so the beach is really, really full. But as you can see here, we got a little sand, a little water action going on. Look here on the uh, posts, uh, the uh, seagulls are all perched on the posts. Isn't that great? Our water is lapping in here, I'm telling you. It is awesome. As I'm walking along, I'm seeing some beautiful little shells down here. Look at this. We got some shells. And some... Let's see what we got. These are beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful shell. Look at that, guys. Isn't that something? Beautiful. Silver bells and cockle shells. That's lovely. I'm loving that. That's like abalone inside. Pretty cool. You know, whenever I walk by the seashore, I always feel connected to the ancient past. I oftentimes think about past lives, you know? I ask questions like, have we all lived before? These days, I, I already can say yes, I know that I've lived before. But when I look out to the vast ocean, I think, was I there in the beginning? Did I come to Earth at the beginning? Have I been a soul incarnating since the beginning of time? Was I connected to ancient Lemuria? Was I connected to ancient Atlantis? Maybe I've been a sea creature. Maybe I've been a, a fish or a shark or a whale. Maybe I've been a seagull. Now I'm in human form. But maybe my connection to the sea goes far beyond just a human connection. Something to think about. Do you ever go to the beach? Do you ever contemplate these ancient mysteries of the soul, of life, the cycle of life? See, I do believe that we've all lived before. We're reincarnated. The earth is our classroom. It's our school. Maybe I've been a seagull. Maybe that's where my dreams of flight come from. You know, you ever have dreams where you fly? it's because I'm remembering a life of a seagull flying over the ocean. Maybe that's why I feel so deeply connected. It's certainly possible. Speaking of seagulls, look at our friends here. Aren't they precious? They're just out watching. I think even the, the water is a little much for them today. It's a little rough. Look at that poor little bird standing on the perch there. <laughs> Holding on that doesn't get blown into the water. Look at them, they're leaving a little scared of the water coming up so well. Oh, that one's got a tree. Oh, he got washed away. <laughs> yeah, life is connected. If you want to have an, a, an awareness of spiritual. Go to the sea. It's believed that the most ancient of life originated at the sea. And when we're at the sea, it stirs within us primordial memories. But here I am outside high tides, which is a happening scene. Here's the Tiki Hut. And they're getting ready to party. They got music cranking. They got palm trees blowing. I'm telling you, this is a cool happening scene. I might have 
stop in here later and have a martini. It's fun to jam and be at the beach. Look at this beautiful palm tree here. By the way, palm trees are not native to Virginia, so this is really cool. I don't know how they've been able to keep them alive, but they're wonderful. I love it. Here's a little palm right here. Isn't that cute? It's the happening scene down here, I'm telling you. <laughs> and look what they have here, guys. A stockade. I don't know if I should go here. Didn't they put witches in that in the old days? I might not be welcome at this restaurant, but it looks cool. <laughs> oh, and look, Tubies, no trip to Colonial Beach would be complete without a trip to the love bug. <laughs> Notice on top they got the wild osprey nest. This is a, a bird that's very popular down here. And we got the love mobile. Sega Bob's going to climb in for a ride. He says, we're sharing the love. Please hop on for a photo op. Well, I'm there. I'm going to jump in here. Ooh, here we are. We're cruising in the love. I got a steering wheel here. Oh, look, I got pedals down here. We're ready to cruise. We're going to go on the town in the love mobile. <laughs> now, here we are, TVs, back at the pier. I just love it down here at Colonial Beach. You can see this is the Colonial Beach Municipal Pier. Isn't it just beautiful? Look at that water glowing out there today. I'm telling you, we got, we got an awesome time. I think we'll head into town and just take a little stroll around. This little town, it's a little beachside town and it's really quaint. And I just love it. We'll go up here and take a look at the hotel that Gus painted. Gus was the gentleman earlier with the boat. He, he helped do res restoration on this historic hotel. So we're going to show it here in our video. It's great to walk around this town. Look how just quiet the streets are. Really different from where I live. You don't have people running you down with cars acting insane. I haven't seen any gang stalkers so far, so I guess we're lucky on that front. But this is an amazing historic location. And this hotel dates from like the 1950s and uh, they've restored it and renovated it and made it a happening scene. So we're going to go take a look at it. I tell you, for a little town, there's a lot of traffic down here today all of a sudden. <laughs> well, here we are at the old hotel here. And that guy, Gus, that had the boat earlier, he actually did all the paint work on this. Is this not amazing? I'm telling you, if you wanted to get a good painter, I would definitely hire this guy. And for those of you, he's local to Colonial Beach. I'm going to put his contact information in the box below this video, but I'm really impressed. Look at the beautiful colors. This was a very popular color scheme back in the 1950s. And I just love it. I think this hotel is, is such a, a piece of history. And if you come to Colonial Beach, you've got to come and stay here. because. It's got such character, and it's really beautiful. This is the Chamber of Commerce building. I just love it. It's old Victorian style. Look at the beautiful old glass windows. It's really something. The old lamp posts here. Just beautiful. At one point, this may have been a church because you notice up there got stained glass. Let's see if we can zoom in on that stained glass window, just beautiful. You can see the windows here, it's kind of got wavy. These are old, old windows. It's beautiful. There's our sun lord peeking down on us. Something about a small town, you know, it's just it's, it's beautiful here. Oh, Tubies, look what I just found. An open storefront here. Look at this. It's number 108. That's a good luck number. It says for rent. Oh, wow. Maybe I should look into it. We could start the first Wiccan Temple of Colonial Beach here. Wouldn't this be great? It's got a little awning. Just right to get a temple going. I don't know if we can see inside. Let's see, it's quite spacious from what I can tell. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I think I'm going to call that number. I'm curious what the rent is. Say like Bob might have to relocate. <laughs> I like these purple buildings here. Aren't these great? This is like a kind of a rich, vibrant purple. This is a pastel purple. That's how they paint the walls, like right down the middle of the building. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, it's getting overcast now. Sun's behind the cloud. I hope you guys will be able to see this. I tell you, the traffic is just pouring into this little beach town today. Look at all the cars coming down the road. Usually it's deader than dead, but today we got so many cars rolling on down through. It's a big, big day here at Colonial Beach. Everybody wants to come down to the waterside. I tell you guys, it's beautiful today. Look at this field of dandelion flowers here, somebody's yard. You know, as a kid, I used to grab those. And old tradition, you make a wish on the dandelion, you blow it, disperse the seeds to the wind. It brings blessings and good luck. Here's some little buttercups here, too. Look at these. Aren't these precious? I tell you, spring is definitely all around us. Oh, it looks like this lot is for sale. Two lots. For commercial or residential. Huh. I could build a big temple over here, too. I'm thinking about it. Look at that beautiful magnolia. And look at this one up here. Is that a magnolia tree or what? I'm telling you. It's really cool. I like to get out, just walk around this little town, just get a feel for a slower way of life, you know? Where I live, it's the city, you know, you guys have been with me, it gets really hectic. Down here, things slow down a little bit. Oh, look, there's a little fur person. Hello, look at you, are you guarding the house? Look at you. Look at this tree, you guys. It's amazing. Magnolia tree. I'm a southerner at heart. You know, I just love my magnolia trees. I really do. <laughs> and Tubies, here we are coming up on a beautiful Episcopal church. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I love churches. On top, it's got the Celtic cross. Isn't that interesting? You guys see that? There's the Celtic cross. Beautiful stained glass. I don't know if they're having an event here or something. Here's a golf cart. Down here, everybody drives golf carts. And it looks like over here at the brewing place, they're having a big party. Let's see what's going on. Everybody's all over the streets to him. I don't know. This is a happening scene. I wonder if this church is open. You know, I used to love to go in old churches. I want to see if this church is open. Maybe we can take a look at it. Come on along. Look at it. Now remember guys I was telling you about the red doors of Episcopal churches? This is the red door. Remember I was telling you in a spiritual church so you have to have uh, blue doors on the church. So, I don't know if there's anything. Take a look. I think it's locked so I guess we can't go in. That's okay. It's beautiful. Look at the stained glass here. Just spectacular. Over here's a big event that's at a Colonial Beach Brewing. This must be a new thing, a brewing company. Looks like a party. I might have to get some beer. You get a sense of the architecture here. This bell tower. Look at these roof, this roof with these little outcroppings, windows. Really wonderful. It's just great down here. This is called St. Mary's Episcopal Church. That's nice. I like this church. Looks good to me. You know, this little town reminds me of the movie. Did y'all ever see the movie from the 80s, Still Magnolias? You know, Dolly Parton played in it, Julie Roberts, uh, Shirley MacLaine. And, uh, you know, this little town looks a lot like the town in that movie. These 
old houses. Just kind of a slower pace of life, you know what I'm saying? I just love it. If you have never seen that movie, Still Magnolias, you definitely got to see it because it's just cool. And then you can come to Colonial Beach and it'll be just like that movie. I don't know what's going on, but we got all these people on golf carts today. I'm telling you, it's a happening scene down here at Colonial Beach. A lot of traffic. It's like party central down here today. Oh, here's some more magnolia trees, guys. Oh my God, look at these. These are massive. You know, where I live, I don't have any magnolias. And I don't know why, because Virginia is all magnolia state. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? We have oaks, you know, as you guys know where I live, beautiful oaks. Oh, I'd long to have a magnolia tree in the park. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe I should, maybe I should plant a magnolia tree. What do you think? Maybe that could be a project. I'm going to find out how to plant a magnolia tree and donate it to the park. I think I could do that. I really do. Oh, and look, here we are coming up on the Chinese restaurant. Looks like Bob needs a little food. What do you think? There it is. Look at the lanterns blowing in the breeze. Hunan Diner. Oh, here's the good food, food dogs. These are good luck, powerful protectors. They're solid marble. Oh, beautiful. Bless us, food dogs. And bless and protect all my YouTubers who see this video. I invoke the spirit of the food dog, guardian. So mote it be. And here's our other one. We have to acknowledge him. Beautiful mystic food dog. May you be richly blessed and may we receive your protection and blessings. So much. Well, here we are, Hunan Diner. It's been here since the 1950s. I just love it. Now let's go on in. See if they're open. The sign says they're open. So I guess we'll come along and eat. Guys, I'm here at Hunan Diner and it's so awesome. I got a window side seat and I watch all the action going up and down the street. I was just talking to some people here. Nobody knows what's going on. There seems to be tons of people in town and it's getting quite interesting. So I've been here looking at the menu. We got a great look at this little cute menu. Hunan Diner lunch menu. Isn't that great? I love it. I got my table set up. I got my hot tea here, my water. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna have here. They got luncheon platters that are really good. Let me take a look at this. Whoops, I think I overfilled my tea. <laughs> oh, nothing like a... Oh, I love the smell of fresh tea. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Thank you. Alan, we love you! Ah, just perfect. <laughs> Our motorcycles going up and down. All these bikers here. Car this is crazy. I, I mean, this is like a dead town. This is as busy as up where I live. It's so interesting. Look at that. There's golf carts racing them down. People at the brewery. It's a, it's a scene down here today. I'm telling you. Tubies, my food arrived. Look what I got. I got sesame chicken. Fried rice and an egg roll. I got my good tea. Psyche Bob is living large. Ah, <laughs> uh, Tubies, I just had my fortune cookie. It was so good. I gobbled it down. Here's my fortune. It says, avoid misunderstanding by calm, poise, and balance. I like that. That's a good fortune. Well, Tubies, I had a great lunch at Hunan Diner. This is the old original diner part of it. They added on the other part, I think, a little later. That's a 1950s all like stainless steel diner. I just love it. I think it's also one of the historically designated buildings here in Colonial Beach, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, I think we'll uh, take a little walk along and see what else there is to see. Ah, well, Tubies, I had to get off the main road. It was getting crazy. People running up and down, screaming, blaring music. It's it's radical down here. I thought we'd cut down a side street and take another stroll along the water here. So come on along. Tubies, look what I found. Something really cool. A compass, a directional compass here. 
Isn't that mystical? So according to our compass, this way is direct east. Isn't that great? And this way is north. This way is west. Our sun's heading towards the west. It's getting on towards afternoon, but it's still pretty hot. But I love that. Isn't that cool? Now, if I lived down here, I'd come out here and set candles on this. This would be a great ritual circle. I love it. There's our water out ahead. Just beautiful. Let's go on along. Connect back with Mother Nature. Well, guys, I'm so glad that uh, we got to have this time together today. I've really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I hope wherever you are that uh, you're getting a little bit of spring weather. I hope that you'll get out and see the world you know if you go get to go to a beach by all means do it or if you live in the desert go out and climb a cliff if you live near a forest get out and observe the trees by connecting back to the earth we can become whole again within ourselves we can offer prayers for mother earth and father sky and be one with them all there's our sun lord just so bright today just absolutely amazing I love it. <laughs> well, guys, listen, thanks for being here. Thanks for being open to my different format this week as I'm traveling. But uh, if you want to help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. And uh, keep it here. We got more coming tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, we're going to have some adventure. Oh, it's witching hour tomorrow. Witching hour. Be here 8 p.m. for a live broadcast. Lady Angela, Lord Tony, and I, we're going to have our Beltane ritual, and we'll see you then. Until tomorrow, may you always blessed be.